Hi. <laughs> so Dirt Adore was great. Uh, we're now in the Isle of Wight. For those of you who don't know where the Isle of Wight is, let's have a geography lesson. Geography with Jamie. <laughs> the Isle of Wight is a small island off the south coast of England, but it is part of England. Now, whilst we're on the geography lesson, I'm just going to sum up the confusing aspects of England, UK, Great Britain. So here we go. England, Scotland and Wales, they make up Great Britain. If you add in Northern Ireland, that makes up the UK. If you add in Guernsey, the Isle of Man and Jersey, that makes up the British Islands. If you then add in the Republic of Ireland, that makes up the British Isles. Yay! You did it. <laughs> it's all a bit confusing. I know. How, I mean, I think most people who even live in England, Ireland, Scotland, I Wales. I was just going to say, I don't think I could do that. No. And just to make it a little bit more confusing, you have the main island, which is England, Scotland, Wales. On the other side, just off the coast, is the Republic of Ireland, Northern Ireland, but together those two make Ireland. Wait, so where does the Isle of Wight come into it? The Isle of Wight is just part of England. It's an island, not an Ireland, <laughs> an island off the south coast of England. Also in England. Hopefully we've added some handy maps yeah, hopefully onto this we've, vlog uh, so you can see. <laughs> hopefully we haven't confused you even more. Anyway, we're here. We are here, we're at our yurt. Um, and it all started with the early ferry and an amazing breakfast at Off The Rails. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, we are off. We had an early start this morning. We were up at 5.45. Um, we've got an early ferry across to the Isle of Wight, but we had a bit of a rush as well this morning because I'd lost the house keys for the Airbnb. So we had to empty the suitcase. I mean, this normally happens, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I think we probably all, we've left something there as well. But um, yeah, had an amazing stay at that Airbnb. And it was uh, about an hour and something drive to the ferry. 45 minutes and we'll be in the Isle of Wight. <laughs> like a mushroom. <laughs> that was so easy. So easy. We're just about to disembark. That was really nice. We sat right at the front. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was really quick. And we've booked breakfast somewhere at 10 o'clock. Yeah, so we just went from Lymington, 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 across to Yarmouth, um, and then I booked a restaurant. I say a restaurant. I don't actually know what it's it is, but it's a nice cafe. little cafe, literally in Yarmouth, just out the back. So it should be like a five-minute drive, not even that. So we're excited for that. This is our second breakfast. We had breakfast this morning. We only had a small breakfast this, brunch. this morning at, <laughs> at six. Oh, can't wait. minute drive from breakfast to the needles yeah we're still very very full so full this walk is a struggle <laughs> we are ridiculously full um one thing that we've observed already is that they charge you for everything here yeah so six pounds six pounds for the parking five pounds to see the nude uh, noodles <laughs> the needles the needles so we haven't got that yet so we haven't paid that so well, no, we maybe we do yet. maybe we don't there is also a Chair lift that can take you down to the bottom. So you probably won't, won't you might see that. That's like eight pounds each return. So we probably won't do that. You can you can walk it. You don't need to do it. I don't. No. Think. So we're just having this little stroll along the cliff edge to the needles. They look really Fairly cool. Very bright. Where are your glasses? <laughs> Work off the breakfast.
sum up the needles? Uh, the needles are great. Um, are cool. Really cool. Kind of similar to old Harry Rocks. Old Harry but Rocks. But they're bigger. Yeah. They are. These ones are bigger. Um, yeah. But yeah, what would we say? I think. It costs five pounds to go right to the front, which is owned by the National Trust. So if you've got a membership, five pounds per person. Per person. If you've got the membership for the year, then go for it. Um, but I think for us, if you go higher up the hill to the new battery, yeah, there's like a better vantage point. Yeah, you get to see them all from the side. We'll put some pictures up. So. And it's a nice walk, a little bit higher. Yeah, it probably wasn't worth the ten pounds. No. Um, but really cool. There was no one really there, so we just sat, just chilled, just contemplated life. There was an old rocket testing site. There was. Uh, between, I think it was 1950 and 70, they used to attach rockets to the ground and then test the engines, which is really cool. So you could see again where that was. Um, and then, like tiny little um, openings in the cave where ships used to oh, come smugglers, and like, smuggle, smuggler's, smuggler's cove. cove or something. And then we thought we saw a whale. <laughs> Turned out to be a rock. It was a rock. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's, it's a really nice walk. I'd definitely go up. So it's six pounds for the parking. Uh, there are some buses that kind of take you all the way up, but we would recommend, especially if there's a lot of you, just or walk up pregnant. to the side. Yeah. <laughs> I walked it, but it's quite steep. It's quite a tough walk. Yeah. But go to the new battery rather than the old. Mm -hmm. Right. We have got two hours to kill before our lunch. very uh, well it was a late lunch early dinner reservation at the hut mm. which we've heard is amazing and it was so booked up we only managed to get a 3 p.m reservation but because we had a very late breakfast we kind of thought it will work out. 3 p.m is fine and we'll just have some nibbles for if we get hungry before bed so we're gonna go try and find some other things to do before then yeah We've just come down to Compton Bay. Uh, Megan's in the car just having a little snooze. Uh, just 20 minutes or so. This is apparently where you can find all the fossils, um, some dinosaur footprints, things from like 120 million years ago. But I don't actually know what I'm looking for, which is a bit of an issue. I think they look a bit like shells, or they look like um, little skeletons. Oh my goodness, skeletons. Things are literally falling down everywhere. The whole side kind of keeps caving, and they basically said on a sign, it said, if you find any, then you're very lucky. Ooh. Um, but if you find any in the actual wall, sorry, if you find any loose ones, you're very lucky. If you find any in the wall, please leave them. S some people come sometimes to like properly look at them. Um, but yeah, as you can see, this is kind of all just falling down the hill. But from 120 million years ago. I probably won't find anything, because I don't know what I'm looking for. Um, yeah, I might just have a, a little rummage. Ooh. I mean, they're not big, but having said that, that thing looks like it could fall at any moment. I think I failed. It is cool though. It seems like this whole place is just constantly falling down, so I can see that people would say that they could find a fossil. Maybe we should try and find somewhere online a picture of someone finding a fossil. And also, I think you can see the dinosaur footprints when the tide's out. I can see some rocks out there, and I seem to remember watching a video of a person walking out quite a long way. But it has entertained me for a good 20 minutes, maybe even longer. So if you've got kids, bring them down here. They can, uh, they can keep themselves busy for a while. I'm pretty much a kid, so it's worked for me. I'm sure it will work for them. I'm gonna head back to the car now, um, see if Megan's awake, and then we can go for lunch. need all that. Oh, Padre and Pepper starters, massive mains. Three beers. Three mocktails for me. Best yeah. mocktails. Side salad. Oh, it's amazing. Chips, cheesy chips. You definitely need to book book an early. Book early. Yeah, book early, but the food was, was amazing. So Everything was great. Service amazing. I can't move. Oh. Right, home for a cheese board? 
<laughs> yeah, let's just see what this yurt is like. <laughs> This is cool. This looks so good. We, we just we just rocked up and there's chickens running around everywhere. And what else are there? Have we got? These are geese. We got some geese. I thought they were swans. I think they're geese. Oh my goodness! Chicken. What's that in the field? Where? A pig. Ah, oh, pigs! There's a pig running around. And the yurt looks enormous. It's like it's for six people. We've got it just, just to ourselves. Okay, we'll cut. We'll show you. Let's go. Mm. Oh my, oh my gosh, look at it! This is amazing! Oh, Prosecco! This is so cool! This is the coolest place ever. I love it! Oh my goodness, Quick, close the door, keep the heat in. No, literally the chickens are coming to <laughs> Hello! They're probably coming to be fed. They look like they're wearing trousers. You know, like trousers that are too long for them and they're tripping up. Hi, chickens. Oh. 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 This is amazing. How cool. Oh, oh my goodness, there's a guitar. Ah! Are you going to bring a guitar? This oh. is literally perfect. This is the dream. Piggies. Gosh, there's so many of them. <laughs> Just collecting my first egg for the morning. It's breakfast tomorrow. What have you done? Oh, I just cracked an egg in my pocket. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> right. It's the last day of our staycation. It is. But the sun is still shining. We have been yeah. so lucky with the weather. So we've just taken the little water ferry from Cows to East Cows, which took all of 60 minutes. seconds yeah. <laughs> um, and we've driven straight to Osborne House which was the country home of Queen Elizabeth oh my god I'm losing my mind Queen Victoria Queen Victoria. Victoria and Albert <sighs> try again <laughs> Queen Victoria and Albert um, the actual house is, is obviously closed but the gardens are open and there's a lovely beach, private beach that she that they had together and um, that you're allowed to go to. So we've got a little pet lunch. The Royals don't own it anymore. No? It was gifted by Victoria's son I think I saw. Oh did you read yeah, that? Yeah. Interesting. Just, I'm sure we can share some more information but it's now the National Trust or something heritage? National Heritage? Yeah, one of one of the English one heritage. Of the English heritage, that's the one. Yeah. Um, so we're going to spend a few hours here, and then I think we've got a nice coastal walk planned this afternoon. Is that the plan? Yes. It will be the plan. Oh really? By the time the plan comes around, I will have a coastal walk. Plan. Oh. <laughs> All right. Let's go check out this house then. So I didn't realise that Queen Victoria died here at Osborne House. Jay, did you know that? She died here, aged 81, which in those days was pretty old. Yeah. And then Albert died at Windsor. 40 years before. Well, age was... 42 of typhoid. Yeah. I they... knew that. But How were they related? First cousins. First cousins. Arranged marriage. Well, they do say it was a very happy marriage. I think a lot of arranged marriages can probably not work out that well. Imagine marrying your first cousin. Yeah. A bit weird, isn't it? Um, beautiful so far. 
this is Queen Victoria's bathing machine. So they would roll this down a ramp into the sea and that's how she'd go swimming. And this is what they wore, or what she wore. A full on dress and hat. I mean, it doesn't look that comfortable, does it? Wow. Stunning. This house has got serious Bridgerton vibes about it. Where are my Prince Charming? <laughs> Tale as old as time. <laughs> it's the beast coming from his castle. <laughs> oh, okay. So you got to hold. Is that how they held I think hands? So. We're made for this life. <laughs> this is definitely a bit of us. I just need an amazing ball gown on. I think Queen Victoria has walked these steps. That's just, I love, I just love stuff like that. I just wish you could put some glasses on, VR glasses, or AR yeah. glasses, and you can literally see them. Oh wow, look at this view. So she literally walked to the front of her house and she could see the sea. I'll turn you around and show you. our staycation vlogs as you can see we're back home now we are back in london and in a bit of a rush because we are heading out the door to go to a little um garden dinner well that's all we can do isn't it dinner's yeah. in the garden um with a couple of friends so looking forward to that but we just wanted to finish this vlog by saying tune in next week next week's a good one next week's a good one we have a couple of exciting announcements mm. to make we're basically preparing and looking ahead to possibly reaching a hundred thousand subscribers We're at 95 thousand subscribers which is oh just ridiculous God. i remember sitting in that hammock at home and i think even then it got to thirteen thousand, and we it? were like wow yeah yeah I in mean, 12 months in 12 months we have gone from zero to potentially a hundred thousand because of you guys because sharing of you. liking can't thank you enough so we are going to sit down next week and make a couple of announcements which we're really mm. excited for they may should we drop some hints yeah might be something to do with weddings yeah might in involve you guys might involve a bit of music it might involve <laughs> clothing <laughs> anyway we are beyond excited so hope to see you next sunday at 12 o'clock have a good week bye, bye. Baby.